This is how I turn these five thin little wood plies into a fingerboard. You're gonna need the Create Your Skate Fingerboard Construction Kit for beginners. I'm pretty sure we gotta glue these plies together. The veneers and the glue are included with the beginner pack. Now, you may have not seen it in the video due to my sometimes questionable video editing skills, but I did use five plies, glued them all together, and this is what I got. Now it's time to break out the mold, which is also included in the beginner pack. Now we're gonna tighten this thing down, but not so tight that it starts bending the mold. That wouldn't be good. Now, when it comes to cutting the boards, you can use a sander, a router, or a handsaw. I have none of those things, so we have to bribe a friend with Taco Bell. Oh, and not to mention, I didn't have a drill bit small enough to drill the little holes. I'm officially the worst fingerboard builder on the planet. But Dylan, you have my word. Next time, crunch wraps on me. The time is now upon us to countersink these holes. Now, there may be a more correct way to do this with a proper tool, but I'm gotta be honest with you, I'm just rolling with it. Again, you're gonna have to pardon my lack of technique. I just know the sides need to be round like an actual skateboard. Now it's time for some clear coat. Now, I'm not one to toot my own horn, but for my first fingerboard, this thing is looking pretty gnarly. But we gotta know, does it shred? And you already know the kickflip and the tray flip test went off without a hitch. This board honestly feels so good. This is your sign to grab the Create Your Skate beginner finger 